Hi, Jim Starkloff again. I'm at home today. Um, today my wife and I went and bought a toy. Yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. It's uh, I I'll show it to you here in a second. Well, that this toy is pretty long and narrow, and it's uh. Let, let me show it to you. This is the Bio Fighter Light Stick. This actually is a, a, like a lightsaber or something. and It's an ultraviolet light that installs in your air handler. Um, it's supposed to reduce uh, allergens and, and uh, irritants such as bacteria, viruses, and mold. It operates on only 24 volts, so it's very easy to wire inside of your air handler. Though, you may want to have a professional technician do the work for you in this case. I'm going to show you practically step by step as I install this in my air handler at my home. Now here's my air handler. So the first step in doing this is I'm going to have to remove the top panel. Uh, that would be this panel right here using a quarter inch nut driver. My next step is I'm going to actually have to remove the bottom panel from my air handler as well. The manufacturer actually gives you the option of either mounting the light inside of the A-frame coil or mounting it uh, directly ab above the, the coil like this. And from what I can tell, my best bet here is going to be to mount, to actually put a hole inside my a-frame coil, and you have to be careful of doing that. And it's a good idea to really know what the coil looks like on the inside, which I do. If you cut a hole here where there's a, already a, a starter hole, you're going to be in pretty good shape. As you can see, I already made the hole now large enough to insert the ultraviolet light into the a frame coil and you have to then uh, attach the gasket here to the onto the air handler around the hole where your lamp is going to be mounted. Prior to inserting the uh, the lamp into the A coil it's a good idea to wipe the lamp down from fingerprints or any dirt or anything like that that may be on it. Um, that's what the instructions tell you as well. And now I need to fasten the mount on onto the uh, side of this coil here. I use two self-tapping 516 screws to fasten the porcelain onto the uh, my uh, the side of my ink coil. When you fasten the light into position, uh, the porcelain mount could easily crack. So do not tighten the screws on the mount very hard at all, or you will crack the porcelain mount. Now I have the wire right here that needs to be connected to power. I mounted the ballast for those light, our new light right here into the control panel um, inside of part of the uh, air handler and uh, that way see, it keeps it from getting wet or moist or anything. So. And I also ran the wire down to right here, see, 
so it'll actually go all the way down and so now all I have to do is take and make the connection here so we're plugged in I've made the connection right here and I wrap the access wire up into a kind of a bundle just to keep it from getting caught up in the fan or the next step is I have to wire in the uh, uh, power to the ballast and it only takes 24 volts of power so all I really need to do is connect this um, my uh, common and the 24 volt side of the transformer to these wires uh, naturally going by the instructions and I'll, I'll be in good shape okay I attached the white wire to my common side of the transformer and I attached the black wire to the 24 volt side of the transformer take a look at this A coil and you'll see where I mounted the ultraviolet light and then towards the bottom you'll see a viewer where you can see that the ultraviolet light is working I did show where I had installed the viewer but for some reason my camera wasn't rolling well there are I'm finished now and I put a little sticker on my air handler to uh, remind me to change the lamp next year because you're supposed to change them like about once a year. If you do not feel comfortable with installing one of these ultraviolet lights in your air handler then you may want to contact your air conditioning company and have them do it for you. Thank you.